I grew up in sort of a blue collar family, very southern, and um, I wanted to be either a vet or a nurse. And then I had this friend of our family who was a doctor, and he said, well, why don't you just go to medical school? I liked people, and I liked science, so I figured that would be a good fit. And it actually worked out really well. My name is Dr. Kay Kirkpatrick, and I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon. I really love going to work every day because I get to meet a wide variety of people from all walks of life, try to figure out how I can help them and find a way to connect with them and get them what they're looking for. One of the first things I studied was hands because there was a really great program in Louisville for that. And I just fell in love with the hand and wanted to learn more about it. So I decided that I would narrow my practice to hands. And if you think about it, there's almost nothing that you do where you don't use your hands. So the anatomy and the way it works is so complicated that it's just amazing for me to think about and learn about it on a daily basis and to see it in action and to see how different people use their hands and try to get people back to where they can do what they want with their hands is really fun. My philosophy of care is to treat everybody the way that I would want to be treated if I was in their situation. What I try to get from the patient is something about them, so I'm trying to figure out what they're looking for. There are some things that are cut and dried, you have this and the treatment is this, but more often than not it's more of a shared decision about what the best plan is, and that involves them to thoroughly understand what's wrong with them as best as I can determine and to agree together on what would work the best for them of all the options that they have. It doesn't always mean that there's an operation involved and in fact I would say well over half of my practice are people that I never operate on but my philosophy is to try to figure out the best solution for every person's problem and put it in their frame of reference rather than mine. Even back in the day when I was in medical school, there were a number of women in my class, but surgery, uh, not so much, and orthopedics, really not so much. In my uh, orthopedic residency, I was the only woman there, and in fact, the first woman in that residency program. But my dad always told me, he says, you know what, in America, just because you're a girl doesn't mean you can't do whatever you want, and if you work hard, you can do whatever you want. When people are in a doctor's office, they're usually not there because they, that's what they chose for their activity for the day. They're there because something's wrong or they can't do something they want to do. And so the opportunity to make them feel better and to try to make something positive happen while they're in my care. It's a, a duty and an honor and it's really a privilege for me to take care of people.